So here we are in VCDS, and where we've got it connected to the OBD2 port, and we've got the ignition on, but not the engine on. We never started the motor, but we have to have the ignition on to use this procedure. First thing we're going to do is open up uh, the different modules, and we're going to go to engine, zero 01, it's the top left option. We're going to click on that, let all this stuff load up. All right, we've got all our data here, and on the, on the right-hand side, there's something called basic settings. I'm going to click on that box. When that comes up, there'll be, be a channel window, but on the kind of the middle of the page, it's going to be a drop-down list. It says documented channels here. Click on that. And the fourth thing down will be the option to run the fuel pump. I'm going to click on that. It'll change the screen, and a button will pop up top right, which says on, off, and we're going to click on that. And you'll hear that the fuel pump is running. It's located in the back of the car, so you hear a whirring noise. And we want to let this run for about 60 seconds. All right, after 60 seconds has passed, you probably will have heard some gurgling noises, and the pitch of the pump will have changed from more of a low pitch to a high pitched um, noise once the system has reached full pressure. So when we're done with that, we're going to click off and exit out of VCDS all the way. It's important that you do that to be sure that all the modules have been closed. We're going to disconnect our VCDS cable and we're done. Mm -hmm.